Hey folks, I uh, quickly want to make a video to show how to uh, layer different normal maps on top of each other. So this is a thing I've seen some, some beginners ask about once in a while. Um, and there's a lot of different answers to how you can do this. So, but the basic, uh, the gist of it is that if you, if you have your main baked normals, this is my low poly model with baked normals on, the, on top of it. Uh, and you just want to add maybe some more little tiny cracks and some more small details, but you don't want to go back into the bake and sculpt that. You just want to add some sort of tileable normals that you've already got, um, or you want to add like any other kind of small details via a normal map. So um, simple question, sounds simple. Uh, apparently not so simple to actually achieve, uh, depending on who you talk to. Because it's a it's a bit of a there are nerds on the internet who who sort of get really weird when you talk to them about layering normals uh, on top of other normals within within Blender. Uh, apparently, uh, weird stuff happens to the normal map colors, and you can get weird results, uh, um, inaccurate results, and sort of all of this stuff. So there are incredibly complex node setups that are just meant to to sort of mix different normal maps together. I've seen some pretty insane stuff uh, on places like Stack Exchange, like people making it way too complicated, uh, in my opinion. So I'm pretty lazy, and I just decided to get to find the simplest way I could to do this. Um, and that's what I want to show you today. So I've got my normal map here, uh, my, my low polygon meshes with a the, the, with the normal setup. Here's my node setup, very, very simple. Normal map here, uh, going through this node here, and just the normal way. And uh, so now I want some, let's say I want some smaller cracks on here, and I want to sort of tile them on here. So the way I do this is I create a new uh, texture input here, just duplicate that one, and open up my normal, it's this one which I baked earlier. And I've got it in here, by the way, both of these should be set to non color. And now I add the node that mixes them together. It's the mix RGB. Just plug it in here and then set it to overlay. Okay. And then you plug the bottom one in here, uh, the cracks into the bottom here. So now what you've got, let me just wait for this to update, is a sort of a non Now you've got a non destructive way of doing this. So I can uh, just add in my, my uh, mapping node, uh, vector mapping here it is and my input uh, texture coordinate set it to UV so this is how it looks and with this I can now control the cracks here independently of the underlying uh, baked normal map so you can see um, if I now maybe move this you can see the cracks over here moving and uh, the nice thing is I can also control the strength. So let's say I got this and sort of tweak it a little bit, something that looks decent. And uh, yeah, now I don't have to go into the the high resolution files and sculpt this, or go into Photoshop and try and add it in somehow. It, that's that would take way too long and uh, um, way too much work. So this for me is a really nice, uh, and it, as you can see, it it really blends pretty nicely it um, it's like again uh, technically there's people who say this kind of breaks the normal map in some way personally I've never had issues with it it's it just works for me so I mean yeah take it or leave it if you want to be a perfectionist you can go look up some of the guides online on how to really do it correctly um, I'm too lazy I just use this it's non-destructive. You can bake this down onto your final model if you if you want to. But this is just and the nice thing also is that you can um, use this in cycles and EV, uh, no problem. Uh, another thing that's also really nice is this factor input here. You can plug whatever you want in here. So let's say I have uh, I don't know a color uh, uh, vertex paint, right? I can use vertex paint for this. Just set it to black and sort of paint a little bit here. And then here are in my input vertex colors. I've got now a color node, just set the factor in here. 
plug it in. Um, and it should be, yeah, okay, so I don't know if you saw that. But yeah, now I can just sort of paint out the, the cracks where, where I don't want them. Uh, or paint them in or whatever. So it's a really versatile uh, method and it really works pretty well for me. You can also have your uh, color invert. So if you want to invert this map and do all kinds of... So... Oh, hang on. So yeah, now I can sort of paint out where I don't want them. And uh, yeah, very useful. I can also set the universal strength of all the cracks with a converter math node and set it to multiply. And this lets me um, sort of control universally all the strength of this. So yeah, I, I really I really like this method. It's non-destructive and it's fast. And I can layer like unlimited. So I can now um, add in another overlay node here and add more normals down the line and as many as I want. Um, yeah, very simple, very lazy and quick and dirty and it just works really well for me. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and thanks for watching.